Hello, my friend. You are welcome to this particular tutorial. My name is Mr. Adinoba, and in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create this step navigation. So it's vertical step navigation. We can go to the next step by clicking on continue and uh, here on the next step we have continue and back button so if i want to go back to the previous step i can click on back to go back to the previous step and however if i want to go to the next step i'll keep on clicking on continue and uh, let's continue again um let's continue so if i click here it will be finished or if i still have another thing to do uh, or read in the previous step I can click on back to go back to it so but then let me just go to uh, the last one and click on finish you see it means all the steps have been exhausted we can also reset it back by clicking on reset so I'm, I'm going to be showing you how all of these things we can you know create all of this and how we're going to uh, take it uh, one after the other we're going to take it one after the other and be able to tackle it so this tutorial is going to be friendly even if you are a beginner so all you just have to do is get your laptop or your computer ready and do exactly what you see me do on the screen and if you have not subscribed to the channel please endeavor to do so and also make sure you like this video and drop your comment guys please like the video because this uh, liking the video helps me a lot. It helps the video to go viral. Thank you so much for doing that. So, without wasting much time, let's get to the video. All right, so let's create uh, a React application. Let's open a new terminal and let's use NPS create React app forward slash so that it will create it in our current folder. Uh, now that is done creating let's delete most of the files that we don't need so we don't need uh, this 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 and this so let's delete them and let's open this and uh, delete this and this and uh let's delete everything is out in or in this css let's delete everything here and uh, here let's remove this so let's use npm start to start the application so as you can see it is blank so let's go back and let's write hello people and see you see it it shows on our screen so now let's write some uh general styling so uh this is called general styling because uh, we're going to be making use of it in all our components we're going to be making use of it there so we we'll just have to write it here so that we can reuse the code so this is a gradient, uh, linear gradient. Uh, let's just uh, assign here uh, orange red. Now let's move ahead and style the body. The minimum height should be one red VH. That is viewport height. Overflow hidden, overflow Y. That is on the Y axis, which is uh, the vertical axis, should be auto. And uh, let's give it a background. So color should be white. And uh, let's uh, style our BTN. We're going to be making use of this class each time we are creating a button. So let's just write the style here so that we are not going to be writing another style for button each time we want to create button. So this is uh, why we call this general styling. So BTN primary, we're going to give it uh, the primary uh, primary background. No, that is, uh, let's use the gradient. And also our app, we'll make sure it's uh, the max width uh, should be 100 percent, but the width should be 400 pixel. So we are done with this general styling, and let's uh, come back here and create a. Uh, we change the name to GSS so that we can have some good suggestion. Now let's create this component navigation. Let's create index.gss and let's generate the component. Let's create the style, and let's come back here and import the style sheet. And uh, let's give you this uh, uh, a class name of navigation container. And uh, 
let's uh, specify the props that we pass to this component each time we want to make use of it. So we're going to pass in the steps and the active index. So we're going to uh, map through the steps and uh, the steps is going to contain a label, description and uh, component. All right. So we are just going to output it. So let's say div and let's give it a class name. Uh, let's give, give, give a class name of a step group and uh, we're going to say if active index is exactly equal to index uh, we're going to pass active to it and also uh, if active index is greater than index we're going to pass a class name called done to it uh, okay so uh, let's come inside here and create step indicator. So in here, we're going to say if active index is greater than index, uh, we are going to pass something here, but then let's uh, first of all write index plus one. So let's install React icons uh, well, because we want to make use of it right now. So let's wait a little bit and it will install. All right successfully installed so let's import f8 check from react icon so now let's add this icon here next let's create uh, the label let's use h3 and see step level so we're going to put the label in here next let's create step drop uh, so it's going to contain this is our drop down um, so let's create component and we're going to output our component within here. So next, uh, let's go to the CSS file, our navigation.css. So let's write CSS code for our navigation container. So we'll give it width 100%. Pardon, let's say 50 pixels. Okay, 20 pixels. All right. So let's say step group. We're going to style it uh, position relative. Pardon. Let's say 40 pixels. Uh, okay, so uh, now let's uh, remove padding button from the last uh, step group that is going to be there. Also, we're going to use this to um, uh, select uh, all the uh, step container except the last one. So we're going to add after to it and uh, we are going to write this code in order to form uh, the lines we see in our navigation, our step navigation. So let's change the background to this gradient. So just uh, do what you see me doing here on the screen and uh, we always arrive at the same result all right um please if you have not subscribed hit the subscribe button now i uh, and also make sure you like the video and also drop your comments thank you guys thank you guys i uh, encourage me by subscribing so that i can have them more strength that strength that motivation to drop more content so font size, 15 pixel, cursor pointer, and uh, Z index should be one. All right, so navigation container again. That's uh, when the step group is active, uh, we are going to say the step indicator, the background should be orange. So you will see what this thing is going to look like very soon. Let's just write the styling. All right. So one thing about uh, uh, coding, uh, you know, and one thing about programming is that uh, it's uh, mathematics, which means if you apply any formula and any other person that use that same formula, you both will arrive at the same uh, result. So front weight is under, okay, so let's Keep on moving. 
So style the step group. Uh, when the step group is active, we are going to style the step level. We'll change the color to white. All right. Okay, let's keep on going. So the step drop now. Let's give it a max height of zero and the overflow of uh, hidden. The transition should be, uh, let's say, max height of uh, 0 0.2 second. And uh, let's ease out. So we are going to see when the navigation container is hovered, uh, the step group is. For example, the step group is active. Uh, when the step group is active, well, it's going to open the drop down. And then the step drop. All right. So the component now, they just give it a, a margin top of uh, 20 pixels. That's fine. I think we're done with this. Uh, so let's, uh, before we continue, let's import our navigation here. So that we can include it in our app.js. So let's include it here. Uh, say navigation. Uh, first of all, I'm going to pass the step. We'll pass active index to it. So let's create uh, a state called active index. Uh, by default, we'll pass zero to it. So let's say active index here. So now the steps. I have the steps here already. I've created. Uh, steps here so we are going to just paste it here so as you can see it has label and description for now so let's just pass the steps so this is how it looks like uh i think something is wrong somewhere uh what is what could be what could be the problem? okay let's add a component here let's add component uh each of them, none of them has a component. So we're going to write a style. We will use inline style here. So also it's a gap 20 pixel. And in here, we can create a button. If, uh, we're going to just create a continue button here because this is the first one. Uh, and on the second one, we're going to create uh, both the continue button and the back button. So we we'll so we are done with this. So, but uh, it seems something is wrong somewhere. Let's uh, open our CSS. Uh, okay, let's okay. Let's just rearrange this. Maybe. Okay. Uh, what is what is the problem? It's still not the problem. Uh, maybe let's check. Uh, let's cross check it. Uh, I think it's a working fine here. So let's go back to the navigation of CSS. Oh, 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 see the arrow here. We didn't, I, I didn't complete it. Uh, so that's what we caught in the error. All right, all right. So now let's go to the second one and add the component. Let's just copy this and paste on the second one. Uh, let's just edit it. We're going to add a second button here. Let's say back. And we're going to minus one and uh, we just a btn. All right, so uh, let's copy this one also and paste here. Okay, paste here also and paste here on the last one. But on the last one, can you see that? So on the last one, we're going to have finish instead. All right, so you see it. There is it. It finished. Now let's create uh, a button down here, a reset button. So when somebody clicks on this reset button, uh, here is what we're going to do. We're going to just uh, reset it to zero. Uh, but then let's just finish writing this style. So margin should be auto. So let's say on click. We are going to reset the index, the active index, to zero. And look at it. You see? You see? It? You see? It? Uh, finish. Let's click. You see? It's not as simple as that. So it's just as simple as this. Very simple. 
all right hope this tutorial was helpful to you please subscribe to the channel